Hello everyone. Let me officially welcome you into my YouTube channel. This is MJ School of Mining and Geology. Today we are dealing with mineral processing process called flotation. Please like share comment and subscribe to keep up with our content. The flotation process is a type of physical separation method, specifically a froth flotation process, which is widely used in the mining industry to separate valuable minerals from unwanted material based on differences in their surface properties. Flotation relies on the differences in the surface chemistry of minerals to achieve separation. By selectively making certain minerals hydrophobic, they can be separated from the hydrophilic gang minerals. This process is particularly effective for sulfide ores like copper, lead, and zinc, but it is also used for other types of ores. For the flotation process to be effective, samples must be properly sampled and prepared. Sample collection involves obtaining a representative sample from the ore deposit. This may involve sampling at various locations within the deposit to account for variations in mineralogy and grade. Preparing samples for flotation involves several steps to ensure representative and reliable results. The collected or sample is crushed and ground to reduce the particle size and liberate the valuable minerals from the gang. This step is crucial for exposing the target minerals for subsequent flotation. After grinding, the sample may be subjected to size classification to ensure that the particle size distribution is suitable for flotation. Oversized or undersized particles can affect flotation efficiency. The ground sample is mixed with water to form a pulp of appropriate density. The pulp density is typically adjusted to optimize flotation conditions and maximize recovery of the target minerals. Depending on the ore's characteristics and the minerals present, the pH of the pulp may need to be adjusted using pH modifiers. This is done to create conditions favorable for the flotation of the desired minerals while suppressing the flotation of unwanted minerals. Selective reagents such as collectors, frothers, and modifiers are added to the pulp to selectively render the target minerals hydrophobic or hydrophilic. The choice and dosage of reagents depend on the ore's mineralogy and flotation objectives. The pulp with added reagents is conditioned for a certain period to allow for thorough mixing and interaction between the reagents and the mineral surfaces. Conditioning helps ensure proper attachment of the collectors to the target minerals. The conditioned pulp is introduced into the flotation cell, and air is bubbled through the pulp to generate a froth. The hydrophobic minerals attach to the air bubbles and rise to the surface as a froth, while the hydrophilic gang minerals remain in the pulp. The froth containing the floated minerals is skimmed off from the top of the flotation cell, while the remaining pulp, tailings, is discharged from the bottom. The collected froth concentrate is dried and analyzed to determine the grade and recovery of the target minerals. This information is used to evaluate the efficiency of the flotation process and guide further processing steps. In conclusion, flotation relies on the differences in the surface chemistry of minerals to achieve separation. By selectively making certain minerals hydrophobic, they can be separated from the hydrophilic gang minerals. This process is particularly effective for sulfide ores like copper, lead, and zinc, but it is also used for other types of ores. Sample preparation for flotation can yield reliable results that accurately reflect the ore's flotation behavior and provide valuable insights for process optimization. Thank you for tuning in today. I hope this lesson was very helpful. Please do not forget to like, share, comment and hit the notification button so that you are notified each time we upload new content. Until next time cheers.